Okay, lads. Do you have an opinion on the forthcoming uh, election? The by-election with Paul Nuttall. Uh, he's uh, campaigning and standing for UKIP. I'm just wondering what your opinions are on the election. Are you going to vote? Who do you support? Uh, well, I've never heard. I've never heard of Paul Nuttall before. Yeah. And in any of his policies, yeah. I've not heard anything to do with yeah. us young people or, or Christianity or religion. Yeah. What, 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 what uh, out, where do you stand on his views on immigration? What, you, do you have an opinion on that? Uh, his views on immigration, it sounds slightly extreme, I suppose. Yeah, don't you think that if he put some sort of curb on it, it would be less strain on the NHS? That's what Paul Nuttall's saying. I've just come to see what people's opinions are on that. Do you have an opinion, sir? Well, well, really, if you, if you, if you actually were, were, were to look at the NHS, look at the majority of the staff that work within the NHS, the majority of them are from the foreign yeah. countries, like the Indians. You know, so you, you'd say the NHS is dependent on immigration? Absolutely. Yes, OK, OK, okay sir. Actually, I want to go further. Actually, I've got friends of mine who are, who are immigrants. My yeah. Friends, and if they don't have indefinite leave to remain, they can't use the NHS for free. Yeah. They have to pay yeah, the fees. Yeah. So, to say, oh, Kirby immigration is going to produce the stress. No, no, I, 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 I wouldn't no, for one minute say no, everyone no, that comes here in some way no, no, is no, uh, sponging off the NHS. But yeah. through, if I may say, through Paul Nussel's eyes, he's of the opinion that if we Kirby, the, uh, the strain won't be so much on it. It's not a case of who's working there. It's the amount no, that no, are no, coming no, in and no, using no, it, you know. Using that. What I'm saying is migrants that came in, they don't have indefinite leave. Yeah. They actually have to pay to use that service. Yeah. And when they have to do their indefinite leave to remain, they pay a thousand pounds towards the NHS mm. up front the cash. So really, with immigration, it's actually helping to also find it. So, okay. Uh, I think where they're coming from is that they're saying the services are impact on not professional people that we need to run the NHS, but it's the it's the it's the hundreds of thousands that are now coming in every year. Yeah, okay. What I'm saying is the, the way the process is set. Yeah. For any of those who want to even use the NHS, mm. they can't use it unless they pay. Yeah. And when they want to do their indefinite leave to remain, they have to pay a thousand pounds in cash to begin yeah. to have that yeah. privilege. To so I, what I'm trying to say in a yeah. nutshell, I hear what Paul Nuttall is saying, but the actual reality is mm. they can't access it without paying physically. I, as a British mm. citizen, can mm. just go and use the NHS yeah. without paying. So, and a migrant it, can't just pay, they have to pay first. Yeah. Okay, so, so if you don't mind me asking, sir, uh, uh, was you born here? Your parents came here, your grandparents, okay. Uh, you, sir? Yeah. I'm born in Spain. I was born in Spain. The reason why I say what I say, I've been through the process. Yeah, yeah. So I okay. know what it's like. He's, he's a Hello lads, uh, I'm just asking your friends here what, what your opinion is on the election, the Paul Nuttall, UKIP standing in Stoke Central. What's your opinions? Do you agree on some of it? Do you disagree? Are you going to vote? I think I'm too young to put No, you don't vote. No, you don't see any points in politics. How about you, sir? No, okay. I'm too young. Yeah. I don't vote, but if I was to vote, I wouldn't vote for you. You wouldn't vote UKIP? Yeah. Okay then, lads, it's been a pleasure talking to you. So, I'll gather you won't be voting you, Kip. No. no. <laughs> okay. Aye. Okay, thank you. Aye. Okay, sir, so you're uh, from Stoke? Yeah. No, I live in a place called Burton on Trent. Oh, I see. Just up the road. Do you have an opinion on the forthcoming by election, Paul Nuttall, you, Kip? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just basically, Labour's had plenty of chances yeah. to prove, and Conservatives have plenty of chances yes. to prove what yeah. they need to prove. Yeah. So I think in my head that basically, if you give something, somebody else a chance to see what they can do. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. Do you think he has I'm some valid points on the NHS? Yes, we go. Uh, it's been strained through a lot of immigrants coming in the country. Basically, um, you have to give everybody a chance. Yes, I, I agree. I agree. Well, obviously, you have to keep an eye on your country. To, I, 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 that's fine. That's fair. Well, I don't think he's complaining regarding the professional staff from the third world that are working in the NHS. I think he's on about the large numbers of immigrants that are coming in and using it. You see, yeah, that's and it's right. straining the services. So, do you think he has a point on that? He's got a little bit of point on yeah. that. But somebody, somebody always deserves a chance yes. going to work but there's only so much you can give yeah. and there's so much you can give out so at the end of the day yeah you have to be kind of strict yeah. on 
certain things what are coming in and certain things that are coming out. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, yeah, if I was the government, I'll have certain pe I'll have to yeah. check people first and see if there's enough to go around. That's right, people. that's right. And then yeah. people want so it's, it's it's not it's not really a case of attacking immigrants, it's more no. about resources. No, it's about resources. Yes. Yeah. It's a system and you have to keep it. If you went to their country now, that's right. they'll have the same rules yeah. and the same way of who can come in and what can come in. So at the yeah. end of the day there's nothing it's not discrimination and everything like no. that. It's to see what the system can actually afford and what yeah. they can give. Hello, you've just watched some footage, I'm sure most have uh, seen it before. It's myself in Stoke in February, was it, when Paul Nuttall was fighting the uh, Stoke Central by-election. I went down there to Stoke by myself to see um, how the mood was, how people were voting, what their opinions were of Paul Nuttall, UKIP and UKIP's policies. Uh, and the interview you've just watched with the black guys, it's quite interesting, isn't it? There's no hostility, everything was good, everything was uh, a bit of rapport, a bit of fun, a bit of laughter, a few jokes and whatever. Uh, I kept their attention and I managed to get their opinions from them, which is good. That this is good. Now, if we were to go in areas that weren't so um, culturally diverse, let's say areas that were still relatively British, indigenous and white, we could talk to our own people. If I can do that in Stoke by myself, then most people can do it in the areas where they live, where you can engage with your neighbours, with the people in the community, asking them what the problems are. What would you like us to do? What needs addressing? What needs fixing? This is what we've got to do. Not endless stories on that internet about topics that don't affect 99.9% .9 of the British people. Grooming, honour killing, Sharia law, halal meat, George Soros, Christ! And many, many other stupid nonsense that's just leaving us out in the wilderness and not um, you know we're not a, we're not communicating with our people are we of course we're not now i intend to do more of this but i'll be doing it in liverpool hopefully there sooner rather than later where i'm going to talk to people when the political parties formed i'm going to say i'm from a party blah 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 uh what's your opinion blah blah what would you like done in the area would you vote for us uh, why wouldn't you vote for us what what type of you know, issues do you believe should be addressed in the area? Do you have a job? Do you have decent housing? Are your services being run okay? Are they being delivered? Are your bins being emptied on time? Is mass immigration impacting on the doctors, the dentists, the schools, the hospitals? Uh, everything, jobs, housing, the list is endless. This is what we've got to do. This is how we've got to win our people over, right? They don't vote on these big issues. Trust me, they don't. They don't like them. They don't like suicide bombers, letting bombs up. I'm sure they don't. I know, well, I know, we all know they don't. They don't like groom and it's distasteful and nasty, but it doesn't move them to do anything, right? You see also, and don't be fooled by the 10,000 lads, uh, Football Lads Alliance March in London, because let me just put this to you. Facebook is not a call to action. It's an alternative call to action. Even 10,000 on the streets of London marching with the Football Lads Alliance. That's an alternative course to action. It's not action. It's not a call to action. Right? It's an alternative call to action. That's it. Right? Because they don't have to do anything. They just march. And then they go with a few scoops and spoons or whatever. So that Facebook, it's good. Don't get me wrong. When I get uh, the community style politics up and running, Facebook and all the other... Uh, social media outlets will be used to the full without a doubt but that will be a call to action not an alternative call to action because I'll be out there on the streets knocking on doors talking to people hopefully with many many others that are going to join me right you see you've just got to march up and down the high street people will gladly do that because they've done their little bit then haven't they when you've got to start engaging with the public really engage put leaflets through doors Trapes in the high streets in hail, rain and snow like we did with Nick Griffin in the early 2000s in Oldham. Uh, it's hard work. That's a call to action. Marching with the Football Lads Alliance or Tommy Robinson is an alternative call to action. But yeah, social media will still be used. I'm sure it will. And we can, um, we can broadcast, broadcast then, not only to locals, 
uh, but nationally and even internationally that this is how you address the problems our people are facing. If they're in an area that's blighted by ethnic crime, then we deal with it. If it's an area where the bins aren't getting empty because of whatever reason, because of cuts by the Tories or whatever, then we deal with it and so on and so on and so on. I'm really encouraged, I'm enthusiastic uh, with the future. I know where I'm going to take it. I know what has to be done. I'll do this by myself if need be. I would like a lot of help. But just talk as those black lads. You can see how easy it is once you get a bit of confidence and even easier to people you know in your own street, your own estate, your own community, right? Them marches like on Saturday at the National Front, there's two there marching with them with scarfs over the faces, like something out of the Ulster Workers' Strike, the UV UVF was a UDA in Belfast in the 1970s. How is anyone meant to take that series? Well, they're not, are they? Richard Edmonds, you're still doing the same stuff. Yeah. For how long have you been doing it? Also, you're saying the same speech all the time as well. Because you've got nothing to say, and I'm not having a go with you. You're a good, brave man, dedicated to British nationalists, but you're wasting your talents, your time and efforts and money with these clowns you're with now. I know you're despondent, I know you're fed up, but it's not the way forward. It's setting us back. Why do you think the enemy love it? Our enemies love it. They can't get enough of it. They love going there, throwing bricks and bottles and shouting, Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. They love it and you're playing right into their hands all the time. Kevin Bryan, you need to buy yourself a sooner tie. You're a tramp. You're the chairman of the National Front of Poland. But anyway, anyway, that's what we have to do now, right? We have to engage with the people of this country, ethnic minorities if need be, because they're suffering through mass immigration as well. It's not just white people. They're suffering. They're suffering through crime and everything gets blind in their areas. So... You know, there's work for us to do. This is how we've got to do it. No more nonsense posting articles or silly videos about identitarianism or the fall of Western man, feminism, cultural Marxism. Oh, that solves nothing. Oh, people don't care. Do you really believe they do? Paul Joseph Watson, a million subscribers. You may as well have none. What are you doing? Nothing. What's your solution that we should do? Nothing. Same with them all. But this is the way forward now going into our communities and addressing the worries, concerns and tragedies of the forgotten, beleaguered, white working class and everyone else as well. Right, addressing their issues, worries, concerns and tragedies, offering our solution, getting them, um, you know, talking to them and make sure they vote for us, bringing them on side. All that sort of stuff. This is what we've got to do and we can do it. It's not out of our reach. This is what's going to have to be done. Because all the rest has failed. Tried, tested and failed. You know it. It's failed. All of you. Nick Griffin, you know it doesn't work. But you're still doing it. Right? You know, Richard Edmonds, you know it doesn't work. Yeah, you're still going along with the Pantomime and Circus. You know, it's, it's bewildering all this. It really, really. But this is where our enemies want us. They don't want us engaging with the public when it's uh, ethnic minorities or our own people. They don't want that. They want you doing silly marches or having speeches or writing articles about George Soros or something that the public never even heard of, let alone cares about. You know, if I can go in down to Stoke by myself and engage with them black lads and get a good response back, then what can we all do together in our own communities? Well, exactly. Okay, thank you.